Get out, bitch. We need to go. Where are we? How did I get an invite to this? <laughs> I'm here with her and he think that she don't know that I know him. And I'm like, it's never that much tea poo. Like, calm down. <laughs> What's poppin' boots? It's your boy day and welcome back to my channel for today's video, bitch. Yes, it's story time. If this is your first time seeing my face, hearing my voice, and not knowing what the fuck is going on, I'm Day. I take my videos talking my shit, doing the do, you know the huge. But if you're returning and this is not your first time seeing my face, getting these vibes, I'm definitely gonna need you to say, hey, because where you been at? But before we continue on with this video, I'm definitely going to need y'all to hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe. And when you hit that subscribe, hit that bell so that every time that I post, it don't be no ifs, ands, or buts about you watching my videos because you'll be getting notified. Follow my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. Those have bomb content on it too. Add my Apple Music because that also has bops on there. Let's go ahead and give on with this story time because... I'm trying to get into it. I got to jump right into the tea. And the setting of this story time is my freshman year of college. It was about second semester. It was actually St. Patrick's Day. I remember it specifically because we had to wear green in order to go out. Me and my friend Shanika were deciding to go out for St. Patrick's Day. Shanika was telling me how she had two friends that wanted to come and they wanted to, you know, pre-game before the party. And I was like, well, we could pre-game in my room because my roommate isn't here. I told the twins, I was like, if y'all see my roommate coming, text me to like, you know, shut down shop so we pre-gaming or whatnot and i get a text like oh he's coming before i could even like walk out he was already in the room like i didn't even hear him come in like finally i came out it was kind of like a oh so that's what y'all was doing i think he did have an attitude but i didn't care we wasn't friends but it won't no beef so i was just kind of like get over it i did it me shanika the twins and shanika's two friends we finally go to the party mind you we're like the first people there the dj wasn't there yet they had mad food in the kitchen the backyard they had like a, a beer pong tournament and then behind the beer pong tournament they had like a bonfire where people were sitting so this was like a real elaborate shindig finally people start coming in we drinking we eating or whatever kicking having us a nice old time the dj still not there the birthday boy not even there i was like nigga this your party like where are you at Shanika's friends, they was like, we kind of want to, we kind of um want to smoke. And I was like, well, y'all need somebody to cop it off. Like, I can't, I I'm not pulling it out my butt. We find a plug there or whatever. And, you know, we handle all the business that one of the twins, she's like, I'm gonna just go out there and wait for him out there. So I go out there with her so she don't get snatched. And she's telling me like, oh, I have to use the bathroom. And as she's telling me this, it's a guy who's at this party also. I only know him because we used to like deal with each other. Nothing, nothing super, you know, duper. He comes up behind her. He's like, well, girl, just use the bathroom. And he looks at me. One of those like, he's trying to be funny. I'm here with her. And he thinks that she don't know that I know him. And I'm like, it's never that much tea poo. Like, calm down. My friends come out. Because we like, they like, where the fuck y'all been at? Two guys pull up. Because the way the house was set up in the backyard, the streets were one of those like alleyway streets in the back. You could easily just pull up, drop out, and then sit and be sitting at the bonfire. In order to get into that party, you had to pay. I who was charging niggas. He had came out and he was like, so did y'all pay? Like, where's y'all money? Did y'all pay? And mind you, these two niggas are sitting down like, bro, like, we don't give a fuck about your party. So he's like, well, y'all need to pay or y'all gotta leave. So one girl, she's like, it's fine. I'm gonna cover them. He's like, you sure? And she's like, yeah. And it starts drizzling. So everybody goes in the house. And then we vibe and the DJ's finally there. So he's playing music. Like, it's turning into a little function. A boy who was still pressed for this little, like, $5.00 still pressing them in the kitchen like yo where's the money yo where's the money where's the money the boys are kind of like my nigga back up back up my face we not giving you no fucking money mind you i'm standing with my friends distance between us with had to been less than 10 feet one of the twins she was in the bathroom so we're sitting there waiting chilling these niggas are really arguing next thing you hear is <laughs> somebody's taser like the niggas pulling out a taser and he's like whoa bah, bah. I didn't even care who pulled out the taser. Like we heard the taser and I seen like the spark of light flash like from like my peripheral. I run up on that bathroom door. I'm beating on it. Get out, bitch. We need to go. But all we did was literally pull her out the bathroom and go stand at the front door. Like we didn't leave the party. We stayed at the front door. And I guess whatever happened between them very much dissolved. Eventually like they like we start celebrating the birthday boy. They're like y'all ready for the dance off? I'm like the dance off? We having a dance competition? Birthday boy. They put on his music and he very much bust five, six, seven, eight. And like, I'm not gonna lie, like it was actually pretty entertaining to watch him dance. He's talented, can't shake no shake on that. After he dances, the boy who was trying to be funny earlier, he gets up 
and starts dancing. No, he very much is a strip show. I wanna say the song was Body Party by Sierra. I don't know why, like I can remember that, but I can just remember hearing the song. All of a sudden, like he takes his shirt off, like body rolling on the floor, humping and stuff. I'm just like, everybody's like, ah! Are you serious? And I'm only saying like, are you serious? Because like he really thought like what he was doing was very much America's Best Dance Crew worthy. Like very much he wins like the whole competition. I was just like, nah. They ended up having a last contender of um, <clears throat> another guy was performing and I'm watching him and there's this girl, she's sitting in the chair. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. They cut the music on. This nigga's very much body, you know, rolling on her. <laughs> <laughs> like a strip show like on some like it was a strip show part two then this nigga picks her up where are we and how did i get an invite to this everybody's like ah. mind you i'm a freshman at the time so i'm this is shocking like i'm like Oh, I need to go. Eventually, like, the party kind of dies down, and we in there just can You know, they little dance competition ended real quick. I don't even know what made us leave. He was running up and down the street because our Uber could not find us. It's drizzling still. So we're like, where's our Uber? We finally get to the bitch, and we can take it home. That's the pretty much end of the story. But if you got your key, got your life, got kind of everything in this little story time, I'm definitely gonna need you to hit this like button and make sure you hit that subscribe. Follow my socials, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. Those have content. Make sure you add my Apple Music because I listen to bops and I wanna put y'all on the bops because why not? All right, y'all guys, it's the end of this video. So peace.